Hey Saber Force, I wanted to share this quick project with you. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, it involves these uh, Star Wars and Disney Infinity FX figures, the ones that light up. Um, I wanted to share it with you. I thought it was pretty neat. And I'm um, doing my last one. Um, if you don't know, these are actually on sale now. Uh, I picked this one up at Toys R Us or Best Buy. I think I picked this guy up. They're about they're fifty percent off, so I, was, I think it was like eight bucks. I think it came to. Toys R Us has them on sale. You can find them online. But uh, since the game's kind of going away, um, they're selling all these at discounted prices. But anyway, so the project was uh, I found it on YouTube uh, the other day from Jason and Corey's, and I thought it was kind of cool. Um, makes a neat little uh, toy, you know, display. Um, they're pretty detailed. If you haven't seen these. Um, they had the regular ones and they had the FX ones that came out a little bit later. But basically, um, um, they light up on the base when you're playing the game. But since I'm not going to be using it for the game, I saw this uh, where you can you know pull off the base and hook it up to a little battery pack and um, power it up on its on its own. And its saber, um, you know, will work without the the game. So I bought a couple of them and wired them up. And I was doing my last one, so I figured I'd make a quick video. If you're interested, maybe you can make them yourself for your kids or you know, for yourself. And they're pretty easy to do. Just a little bit of soldering and a little bit of pulling off the base. And uh, I got these pretty cheap, these little battery. These are AAA battery packs. It takes two. I got them off of Amazon. I think it was about seven of them. I think it came in a, in a pack for like eight bucks. I'll try to find the link and put it down there, but basically all it is is taking off the bottom here and soldering it up to, you know, the positive and the negative. And, you know, these battery packs come with the on-off switch. So it's nice and easy to, you know, turn it on and off. And then I have it sitting up on my shelf, and actually they're pretty cool. Um, so this is basically what it's going to be in the, in the end. I guess you can make it a little fancier on the base, but... I really didn't care. Um, so the one I'm going to do is uh, Kylo Ren, which is this guy here. And so the FX ones come with this black base, and uh, the regular ones don't have, the non-FX don't have this black base. So if you're looking in the store, they do have a sticker on the box, but um, I did purchase one off Amazon. They sent me a regular one. It did not have the black base of the Kylo Ren. So I just went to the store, returned that other one, and, and picked this one up. So just so you know. Um, so basically all we're going to do is we're going to uh, cut a hole in the base here. And then I just took, I found the easiest way, because some of these are, are pretty tight on here. Um, there's the clips um, that hold the this plastic clear case to the bottom of the black so we're just going to rip that off and discard it and then the sensors are underneath this where I'm going to pop that off and discard that and so the easiest way I found is I took a Dremel and I drilled some holes into the bottom and I took a bigger screwdriver kind of stuck it in there and just turned it and it popped all the joints and then I yanked that off so let me go do that and uh, I'll come back and I'll show you the next step all right, so I popped off the bottom here. And as you can see, here's the uh, plastic piece. Drilled the hole in there, just kind of just stuck the screwdriver in there and popped off the the four plastic you know, pieces that that attached it. So we'll get rid of that and then here's the disc. This is the sensor disc, the NRC disc that, you know, tells the game what the character is. So we're basically just going to Pull these out a little bit. I like to pull the wire, and then you'll see as you pull it. Probably hard to see on the camera, but it gives you a little bit of the wire, and I found that's easier than trying to snip it because um, you don't even need to. If you take it and cut it, you don't even need to snip the wires at all. So you can keep this disc if you wanted to. Um, I don't know why you would, but I guess if you wanted to, you could. I'm just going to toss it. So 
Basically we have our our negative and our positive wires. And these are 26 gauge. I'm sorry, not 26 gauge. These are 30 gauge. I'll give it a little bit more. And the ends. Just enough to make a little connection. And then here's the battery pack. Now this is 26 gauge. That's what I meant to say in the beginning. So we don't need these quite as long. We're just gonna snip those. Strip it. Alright, so the next step is I have, since it's a red LED, now I don't have my multimeter so I really don't know exactly what resistor, but I've done a couple of these and I've ran them for a while and they haven't blown out or anything so these are the resistors I have sitting around. These go with my 5 millimeter LEDs and these are 200 ohm quarter watt resistors just kind of what I had so I figured I'd uh, use them and so far so good they work so you probably could get away without using a resistor I don't know how long your LED would last um, but I figured I have them so I threw something on there help them out a little bit quick tin of the wires here And then the resistor. And then the wires on Kylo. Alright. And off our iron. The red's done. If I can get to the black here, throw that in our helping hands. Now you don't have to be perfect with this, you know. Throw some electrical tape on this. Okay, so we have the batteries in, both leads soldered up, a little electrical tape on there to protect them, fire it up, and there you go. It's a bit brighter in person than it is on camera, but um, yeah, it's about it. Nice and simple, easy project. Hope you enjoyed. Um, so let me put them back up on the shelf. I'll show you the rest of them all lit up so you can kind of take a look at it. Okay, one second.
ago. It came out pretty cool. It's a little shelf I bought at um, Target. It's got a little lip on it, so it kind of hides the base of the figures a little bit. But they came out pretty cool. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, God bless and take care.